How's it going guys? This is Zach here doing another video for you today. Today we're going to highlight my top shaving gear items of 2015. So for this I wanted to highlight some items uh, specifically that came out in 2015. There are a couple categories that unfortunately didn't have anything uh, that came out this past year. So for those ones I'll go ahead and do basically the items that I enjoyed the most this past year. So also uh, I have my favorite helper here, Faith, who's going to be helping me today. So she's going to be helping me with each of these products. So let's go ahead and start off with software. For aftershave, I went ahead and gave this to Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Club Guy. Now, I'm a huge fan of the original Panad Clubman Classic scent. Unfortunately, as many of you know, that doesn't last very long, maybe about 20, 30 minutes on your face. So with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, their rendition is a great uh, version of Panad Clubman. It's a little bit sweeter in my opinion, but it lasts practically all day. So, aftershave, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Club Guy. Next up is in software is going to be soap. So for my favorite soap this year, this was Sterling Iced Pineapple. This is a great scent. The performance of Sterling is top notch, very slick. Um, for Iced Pineapple, it's just a, a great scent, I guess a, a gourmand, and it just smells like you're at the uh, Dole, um, Dole Pineapple plant. Moving on to hardware, let's go on to the brush category. For this, as we saw this past year, it was the year of the synthetics. Now, while many companies came out with their own version or their own um, Plasson style knot, this one goes out to Sterling Kong. Now, the reason why I gave this to Sterling, or the, the Kong, in this case, is one, it's that Plasson style knot that we all know and love, and it's absolutely huge. It's a 26 millimeter knot, and it has a huge acrylic handle, and it is awesome. Um, this thing flows very well. Everything that they did with this is just perfect. Great backbone because of the huge knot size. Great handle. Uh, I love this, um, I don't know what you want to call this at the end, but it just makes it really nice and comfortable to hold in your hand. So this year's brush of the year for me goes out to the Sterling Kong. Now moving on, this is where we get into the categories where I didn't unfortunately have anything that came out this past year. So these are going to be the next two, or ones that I enjoyed the most out of these next two categories. So for Blade of the Year, I went ahead and gave this to Voskhod. Now Voskhod is a Russian blade. Um, they're very inexpensive, in my opinion. I believe you can get a 100 pack for under $10 on eBay. Uh, however, it's gonna come from Russia, so it might take a couple weeks to get to you. Um, but these are just a great overall blade. Um, they kind of meet that, that middle ground as far as uh, sharpness and smoothness. So it's just a results in great shape. So if you haven't tried these, definitely pick these up. And lastly, for Rays of the Year, this is gonna be a tie actually, um, not shown, but here is the Gillette Fat Boy and tied with the Gillette Slim. Now prior to this year, I never tried a vintage razor. It's kind of uh, influenced by others' opinions about them, um, that modern razors were uh, you know, much better and so forth. But I went ahead and gave it a try. I started off with the Slim and fell in love with it. From there, I moved on to the Fat Boy. Um, as far as the difference between them, uh, they're pretty much identical as far as the, the shave goes. The head is very similar. I can't really tell much difference, but it kind of just boils down to your preference on the handle. So the Gillette Fat Boy is obviously a fat handle, a little bit shorter, while the Slim is slimmer handle and a little bit longer. But that about does it for this year's Shave Gear of 2015. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great new year and enjoy the rest of your day, whatever day that is when you're watching. Have a good one.